I'm 10 News meteorologist Julie Chen. So glad to see her checking in with us. A gorgeous sunrise this morning. Thanks to Kathy. Snap this shot around Collinsville. Looks like Mother Nature just took a paintbrush to the sky. Had some high clouds moving around during sunrise. And man, if you were outside this morning, it was just refreshing not to be in the single digits. Most of us in the 20s this morning. The exceptions, Bartlesville, you dipped to 18. Grove, it was 19, but that was still better than yesterday morning and the morning before that and the one before that. 23 is where we started in Tulsa. 26 is at normal. Four below is the record for this day in history back in 1916. 75 degrees is the uh, record high. 46 is normal. We should make it into the upper 40s today. I want to show you a time lapse from Bartlesville. Notice still some snow on the ground in Bartlesville, but with the help of filtered sunshine and south breezes today, we'll continue to melt away some of the snow temperatures today again near 50 degrees in some spots. Kind of tracking what I'd like to call seasonal weather temperatures will be on the mild side for the next couple of days but then that colder air starts to roll through in fact we will have a cool front that will be tracking for Saturday evening the cooler air will be arriving on Sunday you also need to know on Sunday there's going to be a low chance of a little bit of drizzle and it's possible there could be a little window early Sunday morning where temperatures dip below freezing for northern Oklahoma and we could see some of that become freezing drizzle of course George and Andy will keep you posted on that throughout the weekend. Here's the really big picture across the southern plains, watching some rain and even some snow showers into Nebraska, also northern Kansas. This system just throwing the cloud cover our way today. So I do expect increasing clouds this afternoon. We'll call it partly to mostly cloudy. We do have that front up to the north that I mentioned. It'll make some progress our way as we head into Saturday morning, but by Saturday morning, the front will still be up to the north. It's really not until Saturday afternoon that we start to see this front roll into our skies. Clouds will increase along the front, and you'll see the wind switch to the north. Again, that cooler air won't really be arriving until Sunday. So today, in uh, Broken Arrow, you're going to see a high of 48 degrees. A south wind at 10 miles per hour will make 47 in Bristow, 46 in Pryor. Mid-40s today for our friends up towards Disney and Grand Lake. Overnight, dropping to 29 degrees. And then tomorrow, we'll see highs again likely in the upper 40s, again with increasing clouds. 27 Sunday morning with a high of 41. Don't forget, there could be a little drizzle around on Sunday. If it comes early enough, could be a little bit of freezing drizzle. That's also going to be the case for early Monday morning. Again, right now the chances are slim. The bigger story on Monday should be a warmer day with a high of 50, which is good news for the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade. A huge parade going on in Tulsa on Monday. Then we'll turn colder again. Told you about that seesaw. Only 33 for Tuesday.